Now there is another important concept that one need to know about the transformer. The transformer we said has some, up, some applications, it can be used for isolation and it can be used for power transfer with step up or step down to make the voltages and the current compatible between one part of the electric circuit to the other part of the electric circuit. There is another important function that transformer can do, the impedance matching, impedance matching. What I mean by this is, if you have a transformer and we have the source, the core like that and let us say we have a impedance Z2 here. the turns ratio is 1 is to n. <coughs> the voltage across this was E2, current through that was I2, current through this primary is I1 and the voltage here is E1 or EG. <coughs> and of course, there is a dot polarity coming to the picture. Now, it is interesting to see what is the impedance same by this source. What is the impedance seen by the source? So, the source impedance, so which means what is it? equivalently the value of Z1 if we are to get the same I1 and E1. So, what is Z1 such that we get the same I1 and of course, the voltage across is E1. So, the source impedance Z1 is equal to E1 by I1. But this is the Z1 is supposed to be the reflected source impedance as seen from the primary, but the actual real impedance is on the secondary side and that is Z2. And Z2 is E2 by I2. So, let us express E1 and I1 in terms of E2 and I2 that is the secondary side. So, we know that E1 is nothing but E2 by n or E2 is n times E1, E1 is equal to E2 by n divided by I1 in terms of I2 would be n I2. So, which is 1 by n square E2 by I2, which is Z2 by N square. So, what it means is that if I have Z2 here, it is equivalent to having a Z1 which is equal to Z2 by N square at this point on the primary side. So, if I have a resistance of 10 ohms here and I have a turns ratio of n, then what appears here is 10 ohms divided by n square. So, if n is 2, it would be 10 by 4 which is 2.5 ohms on the primary side. 
So, it is a reflected resistance as seen by the source. A real 10 ohms load is seen as 10 ohms by n square by the source. So, actually the transformer is doing a transformation on the impedance value and that is a very powerful feature especially when you want to match the impedances of the primary side circuit and the secondary side circuit. Likewise, any impedance on the primary side to be reflected on the secondary side, it is the dual. So, if I have an impedance on the primary side, let us say I have Z1, A dot polarity, okay. There is a current I one and there is a current I two. This can equally be represented as an impedance on the secondary side. which is Z1 into N square, where 1 is to N is the turns ratio of the transformer. Or if you have an impedance on the secondary side, can be reflected onto the primary side by dividing by N square. So, if I have, so if I have a transformer with a core 1 is to n and let us say I have a, a series resistance of 5 ohms and this is 1 is to 100, n is 100 and on the secondary side I have an inductance and a capacitance, uh, inductive reactance of let us say 20 kilo ohms, capacitive reactance of 40 kilo ohms. Then I can equivalently represent it as looked from the primary side as a resistance 5 ohms and inductance and a capacitance. and a transformer which is like that. And so, the amount reflected will be 20 kilo ohms divided by 100 square will be here, 40 kilo ohms by 100 square would be here. So, which means this would be 2 ohms and this would be 4 ohms by n square. This is and the current through this one if this were I 2, the current through this one would be also I 2 by sorry N I 2. The current through this would be N I 2 and the current here is equal to 0, current here is equal to 0. This being an ideal transformer, ideal transformer. 
So, the transformer has very interesting properties of impedance matching. We will uh, do few examples on this impedance matching issues uh, in the next class and then have a look at discuss, uh, discuss the practical transfer, transformer in slightly more detail.